I literally just got home from work and I'm rushing. I'm so frantic right now. I have a football match that I have to go play, which is like 25, 30 minutes away. And what time is it? Um, 10 minutes from kickoff. Obviously, I'm going to be late. But plan on starting this series um, today. Well, I planned on starting this series months ago. So I figured, hey, why not today? So, damn, and I got to use the bathroom. So. <sighs> I'm getting changed right now. I'm going to use the bathroom and then I'm going to head out. Where is this pause button? Uh, I guess no pause button. Oh well. What is this? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, so guys, um, it's six thirteen. And I am just leaving the house, unfortunately. Probably won't get there until halftime. Um, and it came home right before I left and distracted me a bit. I feel so busy. Like, I'm always on the go. Whether it's work, traveling, um, gym, doctor, football, there's always something. On top of that, I have a lot of yard work to do and house chores but yeah so uh, an awesome thing just happened I got a package in the mail from Amazon I thought it was from Annette because I didn't buy anything I try not to buy too much Annette is a real shopper you know she shops a lot but basically it looks like a pretty cool gift whoever it's from I don't remember seeing any note in the box, but I am gonna check it out more deeply when I get home and do a little investigation. And then I'll show you guys. I ended up hiding the box from Annette because I, I, I thought she was the one who bought it and I asked her. And she said it wasn't her. So, now she's curious on what I got and who it's from. My nose is killing me. And I basically hid it so that she didn't go snooping around because I told her to wait until later and then I'll reveal it to her. But I'm on my way to the game right now. I'll touch back in once I arrive hopefully the game is still 0-0 zero, zero or it's not too bad I think our team is going to be short um, hopefully the other team isn't as great so I don't know I'll let you guys know what the score is when I get there so just pulling up at the field <laughs> like 35 minutes late so if they started on time, pretty much by the time I get out of the car, get ready, it's gonna be halftime. You've arrived. Um, I don't even know where this field is. I'm at the high school in Southington. How do I get to the field? Is the field even at the high school? Oh, when it rains, it pours. When you're late, Every stoplight hits you. People drive slow. You make bad turns. But I think I see the field now, so should be good.
is the entrance to the field. I believe it is. Okay, yeah. This is where the field is. Alright, here goes nothing. Let you guys know how the game is or how it went when I get back. Gotta run now. Uh, so, the game is over. We tied 1 1. We played with, I guess they started with 8. When I showed up, there was one of our teammates changing. He went onto the field. So they had nine, then I got dressed, went onto the field. We had 10, we played the game with, played the entire second half with 10 men. Cause I went onto the field with like maybe four or five minutes left in the first half. The game was already 1-1. One, one. So it was 1-1 one, one when our team was playing with eight versus 11, plus their substitutes. Um, it wasn't a bad game. We had, we had chances to win even though we were playing down. I had what like four chances, not great chances. I had one where I tried to shoot to the far post, keeper saved it. I had another one where I went for the cross. Um, they defended that well, and then so I guess only three chances. And then I had another one where I was playing on the left, cut in from the left and hit a shot to the far post keeper saved it um we had a few rebounds there was one from my shot they didn't put it away but all in all i guess playing with 10 men versus 11 and their substitutes i guess one one is a good enough result so time to head home and time to head home and what am i gonna do so when I get home, I gotta take a shower. I'm gonna open that package, see what's in it. Hopefully Annette didn't find it. And then probably gonna do a little bit of cleaning and organizing and then play some FIFA to kill the night. Yeah. And then tomorrow morning we get up and train and work and do it all over again. I think I'm gonna record what I got so that you guys can see it so that Annette can see it through the video because I haven't shown her yet and I hit it hopefully she can't find it so let's head home <sighs> yeah, I'm so tired right now this is not even a joke Basically, he came in, did a little cleaning, ate dinner, played some FIFA, and it's after midnight now. So, I'm going to open up this package real quick that I don't know where it came from. See what's in it. This is where I hit it, out in the open. Came from Amazon. Uh, whiskey ball set. As you can see, the note is in it. It only says to me uh, it's kind of upside down but my name is right there
sounds like there's some liquid in it. I guess maybe you freeze this and use it for your liquor, for your whiskey. Interesting. So four balls, a mini. A mini tongue to pick it up. And two glasses. And still no idea where this came from. Of course, Annette said that she didn't buy it, so. Whatever. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Uh, so, I'm going to probably post this tomorrow. Because I'm so tired right now. I am not even going to edit anything out. I'm just going to post it. All genuine, all natural. Whatever I record. That's what's going up. Peace.